Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today as you can see we are going to speak regarding artifacts uh, because in my opinion artifacts is the most rare thing uh, for a kingdom builder game artifacts such as Call of Dragons has. So here are artifacts which are gettable right now for uh, almost every each of them are gettable uh, for a free to play player. So I will uh, use my experience by playing uh, almost 8 months straight um, the Call of Dragons and I will rank them uh, one by one and I will try to explain you guys why they are so good or why they are so bad. Here as you can see is S rank, A, B, C utility rank uh, simply because there are a lot of artifacts which are uh, simply for utility uh, gathering artifacts and really really bad artifacts. Uh, first of all, let's fill up the gathering and the utility uh, artifacts because um, they are not that many, especially the gathering one. Uh, Lucia's Horn is amazing artifact for gathering and in general for the progression of the game, uh, simply because you are getting gathering speed uh, and you are getting a lot more resources than without the Lucian's Horn. Whenever I got this artifact, I was super super happy. And trust me guys, whenever you will get it, uh, you will be happy too. Uh, another gathering artifact here, uh, as I remember with uh, this, um, I don't remember the name, but it just simply adds loading speed, loading capacity of the uh, gathering legion. Uh, let's leave it here for the moment, because in the utility section there are some amazing artifacts, which uh, could have been on the, simply on the A and B section, but... Um, simply because they are utility, let's put it in the utility section. Uh, one of the best utility artifacts uh, in the game is uh, Tear of Arbon. Uh, amazing artifact during wars, during uh, Roots of War, uh, during simply any uh, like XP killing Darklings. Uh, only forts are only in forts and in uh, only in rallies are useless. This artifact, other than that, you are getting healing for around for every single legion who is in the marked uh, place so amazing artifact for utility it gives like magic defense uh, in general it's a defensive artifact it's it's better for thea and atheist combination with mages celestials so great great artifact uh, another artifact which is simply only for the utility purposes is uh, this artifact which is named is Bloodblade Banner. Uh, it simply gives you rally attack. Uh, it's only used for the rallying. Uh, it's gonna give you a rally attack damage and legion defense. Uh, like it's simply for rallying, uh, simply only usable for utility purposes. That's why this artifact will be uh, here. Now, another artifact which is uh, purely only for uh, utility is uh, Breath of the Forest, uh, which is going to give you the garrison uh, uh, army attack and legion defense. Like it's only usable if you are getting attacked and you want to use it on your garrison leader. That's why it will be only on the utility section. From these three, uh, TR or Arbon is uh, like absolutely best. Uh, that's why it's standing on the first place. Uh, only utility uh, purposes, one of the worst artifacts in my opinion in the whole game is Kurata's Wrath because it simply gives you peacekeeping damage uh, and I will put it here or in the last because I, I don't I, I don't think it's a good idea to have it uh, on the in the Legion. Maybe whenever there is a reset and it's a start of the new season you want to deal, kill a lot of Darklings, that's why you will use it but it's super rare. That's why it will be on the utility section and it will be on the uh, last one. Now, another utility artifact is a Staff of Prophet. Uh, like it's simply magic unit HP and legion HP. Uh, whenever you are playing as mages, you really don't want to have an HP bonus. Uh, you 100% prefer to have uh, magic attack and in general attack bonus as a mage player. Uh, this is simply utility uh, artifact, one of the worst again. Uh, the uh, another um, artifact which we're gonna put uh, on the utility uh, section uh, is um, the Heart of Kamasi. It's a marksman artifact uh, which can which is giving artifacts uh, marksmen's uh, legion defense uh, and marksman unit defense. Uh, 
the skill of the Heart of Kamas is not bad, like you are giving nearby two legions uh, physical keen and onslaught damage, like it's, a, it's simply a buffer for a marksman units, again utility artifact, not an amazing, not even the good, it's kind of average um, artifact, so uh, uh, like in general marksmen are better to have like attack damage again uh, like if you are giving defense and HP it's already a utility artifact uh, another utility artifact is spring, spring bird uh, feather uh, which is giving you like march speed it's great for cavalry units even for some flying units uh, like this artifact is all about mobility uh, and uh, it's like second tier uh, first is still tier of Arbon best, but uh, after that, uh, Springbird Feather is a great artifact to have if you love to move around the map pretty fast, especially if you are uh, playing with flying heroes, they are very fast uh, legions in general, and Springbird Feather we, uh, will give them even more march speed and legion HP. So, uh, the uh, yet again, here are like a lot of utility artifacts, uh, like uh, uh, simply because um, as a free-to-play player, so whenever you are getting artifacts from the chests, there are not as many uh, as uh, we wish to have. Um, another utility artifact uh, which we can currently get is Wolf Woman of Hailer, uh, which is giving Cavalry Unit HP, Legion HP, and like it has a small teleport range 15, which can whenever the uh, uh, 15 seconds is done, it's gonna teleport you back. Simply utility artifact. Uh, uh, let's put it here. Um, I don't know, like. Uh, Still, this is the correct order, in my opinion, here. Uh, we can put it uh, the heart of Kamasi here. Um, we can move forward to kind of to the uh, damaging artifacts, the best artifacts, in my opinion, from here. Uh, there are like a couple of artifacts which are amazing. For example, Phoenix Eye. I still believe Phoenix Eye is S tier, one of the best artifacts uh, for mages in the game currently, which we can uh, get. Um, another one of the best artifacts in the game is a uh, Kingslayer for uh, cavalry units, but simply cavalry units are not that popular, they are not that good. Uh, that's why uh, I'm, like, um, I'm not rating cavalry units at all. But simply because uh, the Kingslayer, King, uh, Kingslayer is so good, we need to put it on, the, put it on an S tier. Uh, there is like a couple of um, uh, marksman artifacts which are uh, like generally good, and some of the artifacts are as uh, like specifically specifically good for a specific heroes. Uh, there are like a couple of artifacts like this. But I'm gonna put on S tier artifacts which we can use on a many different heroes. That's why I like the artifacts uh, which are usable in many different uh, occasions of the game. So uh, Phoenix Eye for mages, uh, Kingslayer for cavalry units, Shadow Blades for uh, marksman units, in my opinion, uh, and uh, Spring of Silence uh, for. Uh, Infantry units. Well, infantry units are uh, like different occasions simply because the infantry units have two kinds of artifacts defensive and more attacking artifacts. Uh, and one of the best defensive uh, artifacts for infantry units are Dragon Scale Armor. Uh, in my opinion, from here, these are the best artifacts for uh, the every single role of the game. Uh, what we can put on A tier is like artifacts which we can uh, only use on a specific heroes uh, and they are generally good. Uh, uh, for, for example, uh, Dragon Rift is amazing for Madeline simply because uh, Dragon Rift is giving you Keen and Madeline has a synergy with a Dragon with a Keen. Uh, also new infantry heroes are good with Dragon Rift, but generally Dragon Rift is more, uh, more of an attacking version of infantry artifact. Mm. Uh, also, uh, Rattle Spear, amazing artifact artifact for Kinara, or especially it's Kinara's weapon in general. Uh, it will be suitable for any uh, Kinara legion. Uh, 
Uh, it's specific for Kinara, in my opinion. Uh, uh, that's why I put it on an 8 tier. Like, in general, uh, for a specific hero artifacts, I'm gonna put it on an 8 tier, uh, which gonna be, uh, in my opinion. Another marksman specific uh, artifact, uh, which is Gold Crest, um, especially for Sindrian or Freigar. Uh, I think it's a Sindrian's weapon, if I'm not wrong. Um, amazing artifact, uh, but this Rattle Spear and the Gold Crest is not uh, gettable for a free to play players from the chests you only need to spend some gems uh, so it's really really uh, hard for uh, free to play players to get this uh, rattle spear and gold crates um, another uh, not a bad uh, cavalry unit uh, cavalry hero artifact which is sorland's blade uh, it's not uh, better than uh, Kingslayer, but I would not put Solent Blade as, uh, on the same category as Dragon Rift or Rattle Spear or Gold Crest. Uh, Solent Blade is an average artifact for our cavalry, but cavalry is not a great space, uh, that's why uh, I will put Solent Blade on a B tier. Uh, another cavalry artifact, which is Tormeros, it's again uh, a teleporting artifact. Uh, it's kind of utility simply because of the skill, but uh, the stats are uh, good. Uh, cavalry unit attack and legion attack, that's why it's better than uh, utility, utility um, artifacts. That's why I will put it on a C tier. Greyhammer is an amazing artifact, uh, which is gonna be on an A tier. I love the Greyhammer. Uh, for defensive purposes, um, amazing uh, artifact. Uh, Fang of Ashkari is great uh, uh, artifact for any kind of unit, uh, simply because, uh, like in general, if you are going infantry, if you are going flying heroes with Thea, uh, like Legion Defense, and uh, for farming Darkling Legions, like you are having a circle around and you are hitting with your lightnings, uh, it's a skill of the Fang of Ashkari. I love this artifact, great one to have. Um, also, uh, this artifact, I don't remember the name, it's a mage artifact. Uh, I will put it here on A tier because, uh, like, uh, it's same tier as Phoenix Eyes. Like, we can always exchange them to this, uh, for example, as you wish, but uh, simply because I have Phoenix Eye and I have experience playing by with it, uh, I'm gonna choose Phoenix Eye on S tier, and this artifact will gonna go here. And as I remember the name, it's a Verdant's like shield or something. It's great artifact as I remember for flying heroes, especially for Thea. Uh, and like uh, it's a Thea's artifact in my opinion. That's why uh, it's gonna go on A tier. Uh, this is like a cavalry unit, so uh, one of the best artifact. Uh, it's Emery's artifact as I remember. Uh, like. Especially for Emery's, this artifact will rock, uh, as I remember. Uh, so, like on S tier, these artifacts are generally for like many kind of different legions and heroes. Uh, any kind of uh, mages, Phoenix Eye will be great. Any kind of cavalry units, this Kingslayer will be amazing. Any kind of marksmen, uh, legions, uh, the Shadow Blades will be good. Spring of Silence, same. Uh, Dragon scale, same for infantry. So, and an A tier is artifacts which gonna be uh, for specific heroes. This is for Madeline, this is for Kinara, uh, uh, like uh, Dragon Rift for Madeline, uh, Rattle Spear for Kinara, Gold Crest for uh, uh, Sindrian and Fragar. Uh, Grey Hammer for new hero. Uh, I don't remember the name of the this uh, artifact. It's for mage artifact. It's totally same as Phoenix Eye. Uh, this one is for Thea, and this one is for Emerys. Solan's Braid is a good artifact in general, same as uh, Fang of Ashkari. Storm of Arrows is teleporting, but simply because of attributes are attacking, we're gonna put it on C. Uh, Tear of Arbon and Featherbeard is best utility artifacts in my opinion, and best gathering artifact is. Uh, Lucius Horde. Uh, this is the um, uh, simply the tier list which I think is uh, uh, for me. Uh, with my own experience, I gathered playing this game. Uh, I hope you liked the video, guys. Uh, if you have different opinion or different idea uh, about uh, any single artifact from here, please share your view. Uh, we will have a discussion, and this is what what it's all about, right? Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.